Daffy Dancers was started back in 1995. Daffy Dancers, actually it's, it's kind of a funny name, but it's a name that we sat down as a group. And then uh, it's a name from a fish from the coastal part. We have one fish that is called Taffy. So we felt like this Taffy is really nice. We do African traditional dance based on Kenyan music. We have uh, Orutu from the Nyanza part of Kenya. Orutu is uh, usually danced by men and uh, women during happy occasions. And uh, it's from the Luo community. And it's a very energetic dance. So again, uh, we had uh, one instrument called Nyatiti. It's an eight-string instrument, basically, uh, basically played by a man. Actually, the four um, upper instrument uh, uh, shows the, uh, the birth of a man and the four down instruments are the um, death of a man. So you see the eight instrument. So four has its meaning and four lower ones also has its meaning. And it's performed during a sad occasion, not always in a happy occasion, when there is funeral and all that stuff. We have another dance that we danced, it was a chela dance and it's a, a wedding dance from the coastal part from the Giriyama people, also performed by both men and women. Like you know, Kenya, we have 42 tribes in Kenya, and we do those uh, kind of different dances from uh, different uh, communities, and we have different tribes uh, in our group, not only one tribe, so we mix all of the tribes from Kenya. Before the elections, we were still uh, together. I mean, uh, the tribes were just working together not after the elections. And what we do now, it's like uh, creating peace to bring all the tribes together to continue having peace. And that's why in our group, it's not, it's not that we want to have one tribe. We want to mix the tribes. 
so that we know how we can communicate in both all, all, all of the, um, the communities in Kenya. So we have to do the dances and uh, whenever we are going to perform, not that people know that we are only coming from one tribe, it's that we are coming from different tribes. And what we do sometimes is we go and uh, do some of the dances and how to interact with the community, we have to do a dance like a peace dance. state in uh, for traditional dance in Kenya now it's going away and that's why I have uh, just to stick to my traditional dance because most of the people now are doing uh, modern dance and African contemporary dance and uh, you know all of ab about all of this you have to have uh, the basic roots from where you come from I, when, I, when I was growing up, up to where I am now, I, I really liked dancing because I thought it was in me. But to me, I know dance can take you places. So when I grew up, I was like, I wanted to be, um, to, to, to be an ambassador to my country. We're not going to let uh, I mean, traditional dance to die. And uh, I'm actually very happy because the, the, the culture that we have in Kenya here, it's really, really rich. And I mean, that's why I stick to my traditional dance. And you know, when the American dance, maybe they do the hip-hop thing, the what water thing, there's some of the steps that they borrow from the traditional dance. What, what is interesting is like, um, when uh, our children, uh, when they're growing up, we need to like uh, teach them their roots and uh, this is who they are, even if they want to go to something else. But it's good for them to learn back home first and then they can move forward to whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm.